Hi everyone, I'm Talha and in this video I'm going to show you how to create dependent drop-down lists in Google Sheets. Dependent drop-down lists are very useful if you have a data set with different options within different categories. You can create a dependent drop-down list for categories and when people select those categories they will see different options within those categories. For example, here we have a shared store with four different categories such as color, size, type and year and four different options within each category. Let's create a drop down list for the first two categories right here, color and size. This formula that I'm going to use is only usable with two uh, different categories. So Let's go ahead and do that. First, we're going to create a defined cell range. Define the cell range because it is going to be easier for us later to use it as a cell reference. We're going to select the cell range, right click, click on more cell actions, and then click on define the name range. Once we're in the name ranges, we're going to click on add range and then name our range. So I've named this range A3 to A6 shirt underscore color and I've named range B3 to B6 shirt underscore size. So this is the shirt color and this is the shirt size. Now once that's out of the way we're going to start using our formula equals if a2 equals A10, which is going to be our cell search key. Indirect which is going to be shirt color shirt underscore color. Make sure you get it exactly the same. Otherwise, indirect shirt underscore size. Now, this is the simple formula that we're going to use and then click on enter. We're going to go here and it shows error since we haven't defined uh, we haven't ha added a drop down here yet so once this is done we're going to add a drop down um, both our values are going to be within brackets as well indirect shirt size shirt color in brackets and then shirt size in brackets as well so Let's go ahead and click on data validation, list from range. And then we're going to select our range for categories, which is going to be A2 to D2. Save. And then our next dependent cell range, which is going to be the range with the formula, which is E2 to E5. Once that's done, we're going to click on save and click on color. So once we click on color, the dependent list shows blue, red, green. So it is showing us the options within the range color. Then we're going to click on size and you can see the different size options within this range. And that is how you can simply create a dependent drop-down list in Google Sheets. I hope this video was useful to you. Please leave a like and subscribe.